Today we're making 10 minute chicken nuggets. No, we're making pizza nuggets. <laughs> pizza rolls were definitely my favorite cafeteria lunch. I don't know what kids are eating nowadays, but in the 90s, pizza rolls were definitely my favorite school lunch. And while these may look difficult to make, no, these take 10, 15 minutes to make and they make a great snack. These are cheesy, soft, and delicious. Okay, super simple dough. We're not gonna use any yeast today. There's no waiting for the dough to rise. You could put these on the table in 10, 15 minutes. You guessed it, we're making my dough ingredient dough and you're probably thinking again, am I? Yes, again. With that recipe, you can make so many things. It's a dough I personally use a lot and it comes out great every single time. Substitutes will be mentioned in the description box below as usual, but you're just gonna combine the milk with the self-raising flour and boom, there's your delicious soft dough. Break the dough together and you're just gonna work it until you don't see any more dry patches of flour. If you're new to my channel, hello there, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I love seeing your recreations. We're going to divide this dough in two even pieces. The dough you're not using immediately, you do want to wrap it tightly so it doesn't dry out and roll out the second one. Now, if you want an even faster shortcut, you can just buy at the supermarket pre-made pizza dough. However, if you are going to go to the supermarket at that point, you might as well just, you know, pick up pizza rolls. This is for people who want something quick, okay? Who don't want to go to the store. Everybody has flour and some kind of milk at their house. And if you don't, why are you watching a baking channel? Also, if you do make these, you know, at home, you can customize these with whatever filling you like or have on hand. Make sure you roll out the dough as thin as you can, kind of like pie crust. This dough puffs up quite a lot, okay? And we don't want huge pizza nuggets. These are pizza snacks, okay? The filling to dough ratio has to be balanced. Otherwise, you're just going to be eating dough. Cut your dough into a square, I want to say, and use a knife as a guide to trace, not cut, not cut your nuggets, okay? <laughs> that way you know exactly where to place your filling. I'm gonna add a small amount of tomato sauce to each little square. A little does go a long way. We're gonna serve these anyway with extra sauce on the side, of course, and add your cheese. Be generous with the cheese. We want that cheese bowl, okay? But again, don't go overboard. Otherwise, it's gonna ooze out into the oil. Now we're gonna add a little bit of egg wash just to seal everything. If some cheese gets in the way, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be delicious. We're gonna roll out the second piece of dough. I'm just gonna roll it out directly on the table as you know, there's no space on my board You want to roll it out as thin as pie crust and just like pie crust roll it onto your rolling pin and plop it over your nuggets at this point, all you have to do is just seal those edges. You want to apply as much pressure as you can with your hands. These are going to look like ravioli. I haven't tried boiling these. I wonder if that would work. Pasta, pizza, nuggets. That could be a new thing, okay? <laughs> You're going to cut these into squares. And with the excess dough, you can just fry it off, okay? It's still going to be delicious. Now, you do want to seal those edges with a fork. Otherwise, these will open up. At this point, you can start preheating your oil. I'm just going to use that leftover egg wash and some breadcrumbs. I was actually using crackers. I just pop these into you know the food processor work with what you have and you're gonna coat each roll in the egg mixture and toss it into the crumbs the crumbs add a really nice crunch imagine a soft pizza dough but with a delicious crunch on the outside so good with this recipe you should be able to get around 16 nuggets which we're gonna fry immediately but if you want to save these for another time just pop these in a ziploc bag and pop them in the freezer your oil should be around 350 fahrenheit if you don't have a thermometer just make sure these are sizzling and bubbling use a tall pan please okay what i did was so dangerous there's a little too much oil in there so use a tall pan these will cook up really quickly you'll know they're ready when they become a beautiful deep golden brown let these cool for about five minutes just so you don't burn yourself and enjoy these are absolutely amazing as a kid these were my favorite cafeteria lunch yes they would give us pizza nuggets at school and i love these these are so good easily customizable and so much better homemade they're crispy and cheesy and they make the perfect after school or tv snack